in a factory cans are packed with an average of uh, one kilo right so one kilo one kilo is our average our mean and the notation used there is x bar equals one kilo I'm just going to change this to a marker here now one uh, one kilo is the same as a thousand grams because we're changing it to grams because everything else here is in grams right the standard deviation then is 12 grams um, standard deviation equals 12 grams uh, determine the percentage of cans containing less than 985 right well like you know that's our mean so you know straight away 50% of cans are going to be less than the mean okay just to bear that in mind 50% will be less than our mean so 50% are greater than the mean so this guy here 985 is more than one standard deviation below the mean because one standard deviation below the mean would occur at about 988 eight grams that would be equal to x bar minus one times sigma right <coughs> anyway the formula we're gonna do, we're gonna we're gonna need to get a z score so this is given in the exam sheet uh, z equals x minus x bar over sigma so in our case for part one x is going to be 985 so we have 985 minus 1000 all over sigma which is 12 so we're going to bang that into the calculator and that's going to give us negative 985 minus 1000 on top and 12 below press equals and I get minus 1.25 so let's write that there minus 1.25 next we need to look up the z table supplied in the exam now there's no negative verse there's only we can look up the score for we can look up the score for z equals positive 1.25 and work with this so let's look up that score now i have the exam here somewhere right so we're going to look up 1.25 uh, there's 1.200, right? 1.25 occurs in this column here. 1.2, 1.25 gives us there 0.3944. Our Z score for, or our the area of this piece here, would be 0 0.39, 0 0.3944. Right, so I'll flick back. Uh, so we get this point three nine four four. Right, so that tells us under the normal distribution. So that's our mean, right? And if we have a z of one point two five plus one point two five, this area here, that area is point three nine four four. Remember the total area under the curve is 1. We want to know what area is less than 0.9 uh, or what, what the weight's less than 985 grams. So this is symmetrical, right? So in our curve, we, we actually want to know we're actually interested in minus 1.25. So we're interested in this bit which is going to be from this line here the mean line or the average line the whole way back is an area of 0.5 so for our score we're going to get 0.5 minus 0.3944 and that'll give us the area uh, under the normal curve which is less than minus 1.25 standard deviations so put down the calculator 0 0.5 minus 0 0.3944 and we get 0 0.10 or we get 0 0.1056 and that represents this area here less than 
negative 1.25 standard deviations. So that's an area, and that area can be converted into a probability, or into a percentage, um, by multiplying by 100. So minus 1.1056 multiplied by 100. Well, sorry, that's a weird looking 100, but that's 100, right? We move the decimal place two points to the right, and we get 10.56%. So we're expecting in this setup here, 10.56% of the cans will be less than 985 grams.